Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. But I'm a vegan. Well then, wakey, wakey, vegetables and sadness. It feels like deeply maladaptive that the human body's response to intense hunger is to feel nauseous. Like, what was the goal there? Stomach's just like, okay, I'm hungry, so you're gonna barf so I get more hungry. I hate the term spinal fluid. It conjures up horrible imagery in my mind. Lightly taps this spigot I've attached to my spinal column. Come get y'all juice! We've never met, and I hope it stays that way. This is the most powerful reply I've ever received. The internet was a mistake, but the amount of fondness I feel for all the friends that I carry around in my pocket with me was not a mistake. Andy? You don't have to put this part in, but Andy, thank you for being my pocket friend and working so damn hard on these videos. You really put in 110%, and I cannot thank you enough for what you do to me. Thank you. Ha! Pee pee poo poo. Pocket dragons, pocket dragons. Pocket dragons, they're brave as they can be. They're small, but what you get isn't always what you see. Post gets more than 20 notes. You can call me an entertainer of sorts. A comedian, if you will. I'm now certified in the art of entertainment. Elf androgyny and dwarf androgyny and orc androgyny are three very different forms of androgyny and defiance of the binary, and they're all so good. Elf, everyone's pretty but has no ass. Dwarf, everyone's hairy but has no ass. Orc, everyone's shredded and can crack walnuts between their cheeks. Meanwhile, Goblin Androgyny, you're small and horrible, and you're pretty certain that gender was the kind of beetle you ate last week. Hey, remember when the poison status was intense as fuck, and you had to rush your poison Pokemon to a Pokemon Center, and the game would make that awful fucking noise that would make you feel bad for allowing such a thing to happen to your Pokemon? I have nightmares about it, man. It drives me crazy how humans are just meant to hold each other. How come when you hold someone's hand, your fingers just perfectly lock with theirs? How is it that when you hug someone, your face fits just right in the crook of their neck? How can your hands cup someone's face like that's their only primary function? It cannot be coincidence that our bodies are fully capable of holding another. We were designed to love. Good post, OP. It's good shit. Listen, women be weaving. You're not me, I'm too busy longing for girls. Not if sweet Aphrodite has anything to say about it. I love it when people repost funny TikToks here. I'm never downloading that stupid fucking app. You are my little messenger pigeons. Men has no need for the 9 to 5 workday. You know what man does need? Chickens, a food garden, ample time for hobbies slash creative endeavors, a picnic basket, and various jams. And two hats for weather. Did a hobbit write this? The hobbits had it right. The microbes inside me are pleased by my yogurt offering. I live another day. That's so creepy, but why are they so right? Knuckle tats that say firmware. Brother, you're overdue for an update, and I'm about to start installing. Today's aesthetic, gritting your teeth through Skyward Sword's janky swordplay because it's the only mainline Zelda title where Zelda and Link's relationship is explicitly romantic, and damn it, if you gotta bleed for it, you will. I just wanted to see them hug or kiss, God damn it! If we really boil down Journey to the West, isn't it really the meme reject humanity return to monkey? Stop booing, I'm right! Unintentional newt slander. Intentional newt slander. Wait, we're talking about actual newts, right? Unfortunately, no. Shit! I can hear my brothers talking in the hall and one of them was like, No bro, trust me, I have the leg strength of a fucking orca whale. And the other was like, Whales don't have legs, idiot. They do have hip bones, though, because evolution decided at some point swell with legs would be a good idea. Oh, why the fuck? But it did. People who subscribe to my Tumblr will receive exclusive access to my web series about a pansexual and an asexual who are roommates. Oh my god, they're tomatoes. No! I'm in roommates! My fucking iPhone sliding keyboard hates me! Oh my god, they are tomatoes. Oh, I can already see where this is going. People who subscribe to my Tumblr will receive exclusive access to my hidden veggie tales lore. I fucking knew it! 